And we're back with the ultimate research submarine. But today, we're going to be adding electrical systems. Let's bring this to the workbench and get started here. So as you guys know, this thing does not have any type of electricity batteries going through this thing. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to add some of these batteries to this thing and get this thing some power. So I'm kind of thinking in this computer room right here, we'll put some batteries in here because we definitely have enough room. And I'm thinking all the way back here, we'll put like four or five sets of these batteries side by side. So we'll do something like that. But I want to delete this um, water sensor here. So what we're going to do is copy it and cut it out and then we're going to put it like a block higher or actually we'll just put it to the ceiling because it's just kind of in the way over here now that we got this space cleared why don't we put that battery right there and this is the battery that's going to connect to everything in this submarine so that's definitely an important one right there and then we're going to put a couple on the side of it like this and then we're just going to line them on the ceiling like that and i think that would be enough but why don't we just do another row just like that now we have how many eight nine uh medium batteries power in this so we should definitely be good on electrical but why don't we do this right now so we need to connect this main battery to all these batteries right here and then we need to add an emergency battery somewhere located um pretty far away from the main battery area so now that we got that done we need to connect this battery right here to literally all of these yellow things this is going to take 12 years oh my gosh i think i connected everything that took around 20 minutes but look at this we connected all that fun stuff let's go ahead and spawn it and make sure everything's working if we forgot one electrical node that could be game changing for this entire thing like did i even connect this part i might have forgot nope we did okay that's a good sign and um i forgot but if we lose electricity um um, our entire ballast tank systems actually open and it will flood with water so they, those probably need to be connected to an emergency battery like on 24 7 just in case because we cannot have that happening but here we go this is the room actually it looks pretty nice in here with all of our pumps and stuff up here but yeah um everything does have electric so if we turn this on it'll lose a lot of electric but we have a massive amount of battery so we should be fine and we did give electric to our little rov down there which um we're gonna test right now and i can guarantee guys it's gonna run out of electricity literally instantly so definitely have infinite electric on but here we go we're gonna throttle up oh it actually hasn't ran out of electricity yet okay that's surprising but there we go now it is moving it is moving quite fast um the screen might go black and white here in a bit because it will use a crazy amount of electricity but here we go we are driving it currently it's not um happening yet but hold on let's put it on 100 throttle we're maxing it out and oh it's actually still um doing good actually wow that's impressive okay enough testing with that we won't use that for too long here we go now let's turn on our reactor make sure this thing can actually produce electricity for this entire thing i know it can this reactor is honestly one of the best reactors in this game i found it off workshop but um we have all of our um, nuclear fuel rod stuff there our generator can reach around seven to eight thousand generator uh watts output i think it is which is absolutely crazy but now we got all this stuff let's just activate everything we're gonna use all of our batteries here let's try using all of our batteries and matter of fact let's blow our ballast here and see how much electric this uses because i know this would use a lot i think and let's see will it use a lot oh no not blow ballast i meant um emergency resurface okay emergency resurface here we go will it use a lot of electric oh yeah it is okay that thing drains okay turn that off you definitely don't need that on in our rocket boosters tried launching us out but all right let's continue it let's throttle up here and oh we forgot to connect electric to our um engine oh great see well like i said one of the most important things if we forget one that'll be this entire thing down the drain so we need to connect everything so now that we got that connected let's turn up our reactor you should wait for the reactor to start putting a generation output before you actually start your electric motors i mean you don't start them but before you click up on this but yeah you can drive without them but um i wouldn't recommend it because look at our electricity it's gonna drain so we're gonna kind of throttle down here uh, we can maybe go like this speed that'll be fine but look at it drain guys that is a little concerning you don't want uh, our electric going to zero that would suck but everything's looking clear in here all of our electrics going down a crazy amount because of our um engine back there but once these reactors start kicking up it'll definitely be crazy so our reactor is rising in celsius actually that's a pretty crazy um rising amount right there but here's our battery system displays here which we need to connect all this and maybe even put uh, diesel generators in this video we definitely need to do that but yeah this is the submarine it's going pretty cool we've gotten this far out i can definitely feel this thing slowing down from our battery hold on is there any generation output yet not really um maybe in a second here that's like a really high celsius here we go our generation output is rising so now we should start gaining electricity here momentarily oh gosh the lights are getting really dark in here from our electricity going solo will this be able to keep up with our um all the electricity we're using I really hope it is because that would kind of be a big L if it hasn't because I don't know what we would do at that point. All right, we've reached maximum output on the uh, engines here. Let's turn off infant electric. If it doesn't um, actually keep up with our electric, I'm going to be a little disappointed here and it's really not. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is kind of an issue here, guys. I don't know what the issue is. I think we started it too soon. Hold on, let's respawn it and see because I remember when we first tested this reactor, it did perfect. So I think we need to start it before we actually start the electrical engine so the power doesn't get so low 
I think, I hope that's the issue. I'm crossing my fingers. Did we forget to connect our battery to the actual reactor? That might be what's going on here. Hold on, because our generator is producing 2,000 watts, I think, and it's just not doing it. Hold on. If this isn't connected, that, that's definitely it. Uh, oh gosh, did we really forget to connect it? Okay, hopefully it works now. Hopefully that was just it, but I feel like there should be small little electrical like spider web nodes still connecting to it at some point but we're gonna see now because if it does work i'm gonna be so happy because um it's kind of disappointing me right now but now it should 100 percent work all right we have some generator output and there we go our battery is at one now i think here let's full throttle our electrical engines here and will it be able to sustain one even with it uh, okay, it's going down. It's going down. I think it's going to recover though. Here we go. It kind of it's slowing down. It's definitely slowing down. Will it be able to recover? There we go. It's starting to recover when we're on full throttle so we can sustain this speed forever with our nuclear reactor here and our electricity will be at 100%. This is a major W in the ultimate research submarine history. Let's go. We got our electrical stuff working and that's great. But now we actually need to add generators um, just in case the reactor does actually go out, which would suck. But we need generators, of course. So I might just grab some off workshop because I don't really know how to make good generators, but I know how to make a modular engine, but not a generator engine. Probably just grab one off workshop and put it like, um, I don't know. Wait, where would we put it? Um, oh gosh, there's really not a whole lot of room in this thing um where would we put I, i'd try figuring it out i guess maybe in like one of the ballast pump rooms like right here we have a whole bunch of room in here but i don't know we'd have to figure that out but now we need to add like an emergency battery so we should probably do that real quick and our battery is at 100 so let's bring this to the workbench here and um actually add an emergency battery uh pretty far away from the main battery just in case the ma main one actually gets damaged because we won't we want that so we'll probably add like three of these um emergency batteries so i think we're gonna put the emergency batteries in this uh control room here so we'll do something like that and that's where our emergency emergency batteries will be up but we want to add like some supports for them and we're going to make the supports red so it kind of looks like emergency stuff you know because of course you got to do that and there we go now we got emergency batteries and supports. so why don't we make like a breaker for these and connect those guys i think i found the perfect spot for a generator also we definitely have a whole bunch of room right here i could definitely fit a pretty beast of a generator right there but we got our two emergency batteries here so why don't we do this we'll connect this to our emergency um battery breaker where is that at um is it this one right here yeah it is i think so we'll connect oh gosh okay hold so we're going to connect electrical A to our emergency breakers right here. And this will basically be a circuit to connect our emergency batteries to our main battery. So then that'll be good just like that. And then we'll connect some of this stuff here. So this is our battery level, which will connect to our main battery all the way back here in our um, room right here. So charge will be how, how much charge our battery has. And then we need a uh, emergency battery charge. So we'll connect that to our emergency battery just like that. And what other buttons do we have up here? Generator output. Okay, we'll definitely connect that. And then we have some of these battery warnings. Okay, yep, we'll connect that also. So we're gonna need to grab a less than and let's put this in our logic room back here. And we're gonna make it red because it's definitely important. We're gonna put two less thans right here. So we got our two less thans back here for those alerts and we put them less than 35. So if our battery is less than 35%, we will get an alert. So let's grab a blinker here which will blink at us and we'll also connect this to a alarm system so we'll do that connect both of those up and then this will be connected to that one and that'll be connected to that one so since this one right here is our main battery charge we'll connect this blinking signal to one of the main battery um warning alerts in here so which one is this battery warning oh wait hold on which battery level okay so this is our main battery and then we'll put this as our um e battery warning so that's our emergency battery great so now that we have all that stuff connected let's spawn it in and we of course need to test this out so what we're going to do is go in here and just completely dump our electrical engine and we're going to full throttle and this is going to really um affect this so we're going to also use our rudders here and turn on these and maybe the ones over here we're just wasting so much battery right now and there we go we got all that stuff on and we're going to blow our ballast here and turn on all of that and then we're also going to turn on all of our bilge pumps. So right now we're just trying to waste all of our battery and get it down below a certain thing. And we're also going to click emergency resurface here, which will use a ton of our electrical engine uh, floaties here, which we have. So these little rudders here will um, try getting us afloat. And it is using a lot of electric, but I think we turn it off. It actually does better. Um, This should be going off right now. I think we're having an issue here. Is it, Did I do 30 on accident? It might be 30. No, it's still not going off. Okay, we're definitely having some electrical issues here. Oh, there we go. I think now it's going off. Okay, so we have a main battery warning that's beeping at us. And then if we mute it, we don't hear it anymore. Okay, that's good. And then um, let's turn on our emergency battery here and it'll bring it back up. And then this should start beeping because it's below 28% or whatever I put it at. So 
momentarily here really we're really angling down right now hold on are we about to oh we just hit the bottom okay that's fine but we are having some battery issues our emergency battery right here should be beeping at us i don't know if i forgot to connect it but it's not going off so we definitely need to bring that to the work wait hold on why did our thing just disconnect oh we hit the bottom and it destroyed itself that was an expensive piece of padding right there but let's bring this back to the workbench and kind of fix of what's going on right here Okay, so it is connected, but what is it connected to? It's connected to something over here, and then it's connected to a less than... I don't know, I think we got it fixed, but we'll see. But now we need to add an actual, like, generator in this thing. So we found the perfect spot right here, which we need um air and fuel and all that stuff. So, oh gosh, we need a fuel tank in this thing somewhere. Okay, so this is where it'll get um air and exhaust. So it'll pump out all that stuff from right there. And let's go find a generator off workshop right now that actually fits our needs. All right, so I found this cool little thing. Um, we can't start it up with a button, but infinite fuel and electric are off. So all you have to do is turn that on and you have to crank this a little bit and maybe turn up the throttle just a tad bit. And there you go. It's already started just like that, but you can turn up and down the throttle, turn on override heat. So this basically means it's going to explode and won't have heating. But we can put this thing pretty high, like it goes about five to six, seven thousand RPM. So it goes pretty crazy. You might use this, but I will see. I'm gonna check out some more generators here. All right, then we got this one right here. We're just going on generator shopping right now. So let's turn this on. So generator on slash off. There we go. And oh, is it working? Yep, there we go. Okay, it's working. Um, generator outputs. Oh, wow, that's actually quite good. Uh, 19 RPS. Okay, okay. And then high, low. What does that mean? Oh, okay. So this is high mode. So this is um, possibly going to explode in mode. So 27 RPS more. So this is a cool little generator right here. This one would work perfectly, honestly. It's the perfect length. It has some cool stuff on it. And then we have a um, generator heat override. This thing uh, will explode if we have that on. So we probably don't want that on. But let's go check out like maybe one more generator. But we're probably going to use this one. Yeah, never mind. That's definitely all the generators I have. I mean, we do have this one. Hold on. Should we test this? Yeah, that one looks cool. You know, why don't we test this one? This is the last one we're going to test right here. So how do we start this? You just use that. And then what do we click here? Push button. Um, okay, we're going to click that. How do we start this? It's not starting. I, am I doing something wrong? Oh, oh, is that for fuel? Hold on. That might be for fuel. Hold on. Let's turn on infinite fuel. Oh, never mind. We don't even need infinite fuel. We just had to spin that for a little bit. Okay, now it's starting. Um, okay, okay. What kind of RPS can this thing get at? It's getting pretty high. Okay, okay. I think I like the yellow one better. So we're probably going to use that one. Let's go grab our submarine over here near the docks and put that generator in it. Then we're going to probably put another generator um, back here, like the manual crank one that you have to crank it to start up. But uh, yeah, let's go do that. So here's the generator that we said we liked. Hopefully it fits in here. Cross your fingers, guys. It's a little bit big, but please fit. Oh, it's not going to fit. Oh, no. Wait, hold on. Will it? If I do sideways, maybe? I don't know if that's going to work either. Um, sideways actually might work, but it's kind of in the way of this door here. I mean, you don't need three blocks to squeeze through a door i mean that would work you know why don't we just paste it here and kind of test it out okay we're gonna merge it like that and let's try walking through the door hopefully we can fit hopefully we're not too fat um some people might not be able to fit but let's go no clip in here and okay it opens the door kind of glitched inside of it that's fine maybe we could have it open the other way but i mean yeah we can walk through it still that'll work and then can we turn it on with it um kind of inside here yeah it won't start because there's no air in here so we'll probably just have to make a pipe straight up to out there and same with the exhaust so why don't we do that real quick that'll definitely work and we're gonna rotate this door here also there we go we rotated the door and then why don't we do this so this is the air manifold right here we need to make a pipe that goes straight up through the ceiling right there so that'll definitely work let's go ahead grab some pipes and just line it up like this so this is air so we're gonna make it just pure white so we know that it's air going through here and let's grab a different pipe now then we'll do something like that and then we're gonna grab an enclosed pipe we'll make it our dark gray color coming out of there and then we're gonna grab an air um filter like it had on there we don't want to affect how good the generator is but where's this thing's exhaust at so exhaust is right here we have to line that directly up in the ceiling and we'll probably have it go through there so that'll be perfect and then for exhaust we're just gonna grab a port like this and there we go now we got exhaust let's spawn this in and see if it actually uh runs how we want it to all right it's spawned in and there we go let's go hop in it and here's our generator right here turn on the generator with that button there we go okay it started and exhaust should come out of that fluid port right there once we put it on a high mode, I don't think there's enough exhaust going out now. But um, it is running, and we need to connect it to our um, main battery over here also. So let's turn it on high mode. This is high mode. Exhaust is pumping out of there now. It is working. Let's turn it down a little bit. There we go. All right, so this generator is working. Let's connect this to main electric here. And I think we can delete this um, key button right here that says um, activate diesel generator because we don't really have a button for that anymore since there's a button over here. But we can connect 
some stuff here so let's connect this to this main battery down right there and then where's this um things generator so generator output we will connect to this output thing right there perfect and there we go now we got this uh cool generator in here and let's uh spawn it in here in a second and see if it works but before we do that we're gonna spawn in another generator so we want multiple in this thing um in different spots so we're gonna grab this yellow one right here that i liked it's the smallest generator ever it is so cool but we're gonna put this thing probably near the back in here uh never mind this didn't work how i thought it would i thought it was way smaller than this when i spawned it in i mean it's still small but um I don't think I can really put this anywhere where we could have actually have it work. I mean, it's a research submarine. We don't need two generators, to be honest. Only one should do it. We're not going to be doing anything crazy, you know, so th this will definitely work. I, th I don't know. What should we add? Any more electrical system stuff, guys? Um. Oh, yeah. Emergency lights. So when we turn on our emergency battery, have emergency lights also turn on. So right next to all these lights, we're going to want to make some lights, but except these ones are going to be red and this will be our emergency power, basically. So we're going to have a key button right here, which will activate our um, all of our emergency lights, which are just going to be these red lights on, on the top of our ceiling. So we'll name this emergency lights here and then we'll connect this emergency lights to. um Oh, I don't know. OK, we'll just start connecting these. So the, we need to connect our emergency red lights, which are going to be very hard to find which ones they are. But we're going to find all of them here. Hopefully now what we're going to do is connect all these emergency lights to our emergency battery so now that these lights have power so we definitely want to be powering these lights here all right so i think i have all the emergency batteries connected so why don't we go figure that out real quick so let's turn on emergency lights which doesn't even have electric itself oh my gosh all right we got everything all connected emergency lights are now on and there we go now we got some red lights going through this thing uh that one's not working right there because it has no electric and it's not even turned on okay uh these ones are working in here we got one right there and then we should have one in this um control room right here that's not even on also okay this is not going to plan okay there we go we got one in there and we should have one right here that's on perfect and then one right there and then one in there one in here that's on and then one in the captain's quarters that should be on perfect all right all right we need to delete this constant on signal right here because it's turning on all these other lights but there we go now these are the emergency lights in here so this is what it looked like in the reactor room without power so that's pretty cool let's go connect the rest of these lights that aren't connected all right, so we're spawning it in now. We deleted the constant on. Oh my gosh, there's a tornado over there with a um fishing boat trying to escape it. That's interesting. Okay, let's go in here. All right, no lights are on, but we're going to turn on our, our emergency lights. There we go. All right, this one's on. This one's on. All right, going good. Then one over here is on. Okay, so this is what it looked like in here with no power. Then we're going to go back here. All right, this one's on. And we only have one light in there because we really don't need a lot. Uh, let's turn it to straight nighttime. Okay, so now... This is what it would really look like without any light. Okay, there we go. It's all looking good. You got light in there, light in there, some right here. We really don't have a whole lot of emergency lights, but that's how we want it. We don't want this entire place to be lit up normally. One in the captain's quarters, of course, because he's important. HVAC and the lab. All right, it's looking good in here, guys. We got all of our emergency lights on and working. Let's check the reactor room. Everything's looking great. But a uh, moment of truth here. Let's turn on our generator here, and we're going to try turning on all of our bilge pumps and drain our ballast at the same time and see if it can actually keep up. I don't know if it's going to be able to, but we're going to test it. All right, it should be all on right now. It definitely is, okay? Main battery is at 100%. It says it is at least on here. Hold on, wait, what? Um, 380. Oh, that's why. The generator wasn't even connected okay well that's definitely an issue here you know what we're not going to connect it via cable because if the cable breaks like in this game it'll disconnect it so what we're going to do is just connect it to our main battery now it should all be working perfect let's spawn it in and test it of course and let's go in here all right let's turn on our generator here and turn on our emergency lights because we need some lights on all right generator starting up and our battery is going up yep battery is about to max out here at 100 okay no it's not but let's turn it on high mode now will it max out at 100 there we go all right now we're talking business enable all bilge pumps okay it can withstand turning on all of our bilge pumps that's a good sign let's see if it can withstand uh draining all of our ballast tanks at once so now that we got all of our ballast tanks filling up with water let's undo that and now we're going to blow our ballast here and will it be able to withstand it i don't think it will but we're gonna see um oh my gosh it actually can that's crazy okay our emergency generator is working that is awesome but there we go everything's working in this thing now we got emergency stuff going on here so that's probably going to be it for this video guys let me know what we should add next of course we're about to be done with this thing so i don't know what do you guys think next video should be i have no idea but make sure you guys like and subscribe hit that bell but thanks for watching and goodbye